Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at uh, a yield farming platform for synthetics uh, called arable, which is a very appropriate, of course, you know, arable for arable land. So at its core, arable is actually a uh, farming and uh, trading uh, platform for synthetic assets. So it gives you as a user access to yield farm on uh, a different number of uh, blockchain networks and you can do this all in one place so the platform itself is actually designed uh, specifically to eliminate the complexity of uh, cross-chain farming so with uh, this platform there's no need to wrap your assets and uh, as a user you're not subjected to costly cross-chain bridging as well and in addition to that arable also offers you uh, low swap fees and uh, no slippage and uh, you can easily track multiple assets across a number of uh, different chains so if you're new to yield farming etc to put it in simple terms yield farming is uh, essentially just the practice of uh, farming for the best yields and in, uh, in uh, DeFi markets basically so as a user you can uh, lend your uh, let's say ethereum or other erc20 tokens on uh, platforms such as Aave or Compound and in exchange for that uh, you will get uh, a fixed or a variable interest rate and you can also move your crypto around uh, different platforms uh, looking to take advantage of uh, these uh, different DeFi services and uh, you can also supply liquidity to a liquidity pool which is also part of yield farming so in just sort of a, a summary it is uh, basically simply trying to generate yields out of crypto but rather than spot trading investors actually use uh, DeFi methods and uh, arable is a platform that's actually specifically uh, focusing on synthetic assets which are derivatives of uh, uh, other assets or tokenized uh, uh, crypto assets that you can find on uh, different chains so give us a like and a subscribe and i'll be guiding you through this whole process uh, from how you can actually use the platform and just to give you a little bit more insight into what uh, synthetic assets are all about so stay tuned make sure you give that like and a subscribe i really appreciate you guys let's get into it so um, Arable is actually, uh, like I said, a platform that uh, provides synthetic derivatives of uh, native chain assets to people who want to speculate and to people who want to get involved in yield farming. So as a user, uh, you can do your farming and trade uh, these synthetics on the platform and the synths can actually either be pegged to fiat currencies or their equivalent native chain token. So the names of the synthetic tokens that are made available on uh, the platform are prefixed with the letters AR for arable. So for example, if it's a, a fiat or USD, uh, for example, a dollar, it would be uh, sort of prefixed with an AR. So it would be ARUSD and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So if it's uh, Ethereum, for example, AR, uh, ETH or ARBTC. So all synths on Arable are actually backed by Arable's own native token called Acre, like an acre of land. And uh, this is the uh, native ecosystem token of this protocol. And uh, the synths are also backed by other assets such as AVAX or USDT. So this platform is also on the Avalanche chain. So if you want to know more about Avalanche, I've also done an article just kind of uh, touching on some of the top um, assets on the Avalanche uh, blockchain. So let's dive into what actually makes uh, Arable a unique uh, protocol. So it offers uh, users these uh, synthetic versions of uh, cryptocurrencies and synthetic farming, which makes it quite unique in DeFi since uh, any sense that uh, uh, users purchase on the DEX can also be farmed on the protocol. So this can be synthetics of native chain tokens or liquidity provided tokens. Uh, and uh, the APR rates uh, for farms are actually pegged to their native chain counterparts as well, just as uh, normal synths are. So this actually means that you as a user are able to receive the same yield so yeah, it's uh, pretty fascinating. As far as uh, looking at uh, staking on the protocol itself, 
users of uh, arable can effectively stake uh, ACRE, which is this uh, native ecosystem token, and they can do that in exchange for rewards in the form of uh, a more ACRE token. So if you choose to stake ACRE as a delegator, you'll also be able to participate in governance of the protocol and you can have a future say on, uh, say, how the actual protocol gets uh, governed and how it uh, ends up developing in the future. And uh, what is also interesting is the fact that the APR rate at which your rewards are distributed will actually change over time since they're not fixed and uh, that is subject to the tokenomics as well. And uh, for the purposes of uh, just uh, sort of uh, giving you a quick demo, um, I just needed to make sure I, I get, you know, some uh, um, AVAX. And uh, since that's uh, the actual uh, blockchain that uh, Arable is launched on, and uh, so I decided to send those AVAX from uh, my non-custodial wallet uh, to uh, my AVEX MetaMask wallet, uh, and uh, I connected that through Pangolin. I've done a review of Pangolin as well. And uh, then I swapped the AVEX tokens for Acre. So once you're able to actually do that, you know, uh, you can see that, you know, the tokens are actually then credited to your MetaMask. And then all you need to do there is just simply swap on uh, Pangolin, I did a little test transaction. So you'll also be prompted to confirm the swap and uh, also accept the transaction fee when you do that. And uh, you'll also be uh, directed to MetaMask to make sure that you can uh, confirm the transaction. And once you are you know, in a position where you want to submit that transaction, you can then verify that uh, it actually has gone through and has been logged onto the blockchain. Snowtrace is the Avalanche C chain blockchain explorer that you can use to do that. And um, so once I did that, all I had to do was to go back to the main uh, landing page, arable.finance is the main landing page. And then I just relaunched the app and just to see whether my Acre token balance was uh, updated. And, uh, you know, I, I can then use that to do my trading or staking or minting or, of course, yield farming, which is uh, what this protocol is well known for. So another way you can actually use to check your uh, balance of your tokens as well is to go back to your MetaMask. Uh, you'll have to import the Acre token contract, which you can find on uh, CoinMarketCap, for example. Um, or you can go to their main site. You should be able to get that and uh, you can then manually paste that uh, contract address into your MetaMask, simply add that token, you should be able to view your balance there as well. And uh, if you choose to do general staking, you can do that. If you want to do delegated staking, you can also choose to do that, or you can also choose to stake with uh, validators. If you uh, stake with Arable, uh, the tokens uh, you provide are actually locked into a contract and uh, they're supposed to start generating rewards pretty much right away and uh, a user can claim uh, their accumulated rewards directly into their wallet uh, at each epoch which is uh, typically daily so for the purposes of um, also just making sure you guys uh, see how it all works i actually decided to stake some acre tokens which i acquired uh, just, um, you know, uh, previously, and I uh, did that uh, in the Acre staking pool, which uh, looks like it's a pretty good offering, about 60% APR. So I just went to the uh, staking pool section of the interface, uh, clicked start staking, and then, so, you know, you need to know that when you do choose to stake the full amount or, you know, a partial amount, you can do that as well. So I just decided to stake the, uh, the test token that I, that I bought. And um, I did that. And then obviously you have to actually give the smart contract a permission to access uh, the Acre tokens in your wallet as well. And there's a very minimal fee or a, a fee that's charged for doing this as well. So once uh, your permissions are granted, uh, you know, you can then proceed to pay the gas fee and effectively just take your token. So once your transaction is approved, you can also verify it on uh, the uh, Block Explorer, uh, like I showed you earlier. And you can also see, you know, how much you staked by just going to the actual dashboard. When it actually just comes to unstaking, should you want to, uh, you know, uh, take your, uh, your tokens off, uh, which is uh, something that they also call unbonding. Uh, you can do this pretty much at any time. 
However, you need to know that uh, the tokens will remain locked for a waiting period of about 14 days from the point that you choose to unstake. And uh, during this uh, unbonding phase as a user, you won't receive any more rewards, of course, because you've uh, opted out. But uh, as a user, you know, uh, these new yield protocols uh something that you know you should generally just temper with if uh, you've had some experience or you know just make sure you don't put a lot of funds into these uh, platforms because you know there are always associated risks with um, uh, yield farming you know if you've heard about impermanent loss and things of that nature so make sure you know if you do jump into things like this i know a lot of us are really sort of uh, uh, on the down right now with uh, our portfolios getting decimated with the uh, all the shenanigans that have been ha happening in the space but of course you know we don't stop working we're always looking for where we can get some good yield and uh, this is just another platform that I wanted to look at because I've been sort of focused on looking at uh, um, platforms that are doing a lot of things, especially on Polygon and on Arbitrum. But I hadn't really touched on so many that I actually like call uh, on uh, Avalanche. So I just wanted to play around a little bit with this one. So let me know what you guys think. It's arable.finance. Don't forget to check out links in the description to my books, Tokenized Trillions, Blockchain Applied, they deal with the real world asset tokenization on the blockchain. If you want to support me, you can do that. I don't monetize this channel. It's an, if, uh, effectively just an educational platform that I want to build alongside with you. If you want more uh, diverse information, go to our main site. We've got free tools and resources. You can do comparisons on uh, what crypto exchanges offer, um, what space. You can also look at uh, crypto debit cards. You can look at like a whole bunch of resources if you're interested in uh, uh, NFTs, in DeFi, in trading, a whole host of tools and things that you can really check out that will help you navigate your way in this uh, ecosystem. Like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you guys here with another banger very soon. I love y'all. Peace.